Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen. Join us at LateNightHealth.com and also Facebook.com slash Late Night Health Radio. Our guest is the author of I Am God in Disguise, So Are You. His name is uh, Craig Colavo. And Craig, what did what have you been doing for a living? You know, you, uh, you're from Chicago. You moved to, you spent years in Austin, Texas, which everybody says is the greatest place on earth now to live. Tell us, what have you been doing with your life? You know what? That's why my wife and I left off. As soon as they put your, your town on the cover of a magazine saying, greatest small town in America, it's ruined. Um, <laughs> no, but I, 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 I was born and raised in the Chicago area. Uh, the day I graduated college, I packed everything I owned into my Ford Escort, and it all fit, by the way, and I headed <laughs> south because I had had enough snow for one lifetime, um, and yes, I landed in Texas. I, I started a company in 1987, which is still going strong. Uh, it's called Computer Comforts. I, I design and manufacture furniture for the education market, for uh, primarily higher education. So you're out there in Los Angeles. You know, CSU is one of my biggest customers. They have 23 campuses. Uh, my my computer my computer tables are in a lot of their classrooms. So are those the ones that go up and down, or just the? No, absolutely. We have uh, ADA wheelchair uh, solutions for students in wheelchairs. They're push-button electric tables to try to accommodate uh, all different body types. Um, and what about what about older guys who aren't supposed to be sitting on their tush anymore? So right, right. do you have standing so right ones? In my office where I'm sitting today, I built myself a sit-to-stand desk because the health experts say that we should spend at least 10 minutes each hour standing. So I press the paddle on my desk and I raise it up to standing height and... It's good for blood flow. You don't get stuck in that static position, which causes all kinds of problems. Hmm, interesting. Hey, Daryl, have you known any any uh, broadcasters who stood up? Right? Yeah, there's some studios, uh, especially in the uh, early 70s, that were built for standing only, you know, uh, with the board high enough and no chair in the studio, you know. The thing now uh, with, with broadcasting, obviously, uh, with less more, more technology, it's more monitor placement than... Uh, where the where the console is because the console is just usually a surface that you know most of the the good stuff is in a rack several right feet away right, if not right, several right. miles away so it's really just a, the ability to ergonomically be able to have a keyboard at a, at a level parallel to your arm so you don't get the carpal tunnel and then where the monitors are placed so you don't get a, a kink in your neck Got it. Yeah, it's, the LCD, I mean, the best, quickest, least expensive way to solve that is to attach it to it, one of these adjustable LCD arms. You want to get it positioned just below eye level. You know, the, the human eye just naturally wants to look slightly, like, slightly downward. That way you're not wrenching your neck looking up. So uh, that would be my uh, first advice to anyone trying to get ergonomically correct. You can probably... You know, do it for less than a hundred bucks. Yeah, but there's also a you know, if you're in the furniture business, there's a, a obviously a line of broadcast furniture that would be a, a, a yeah a, a branch out that uh, would be of interest probably. Right, uh, dude, we're, we we've just expanded your marketplace, uh, Craig. <laughs> you right? know, we do it. We we bought we built out broadcasting studios on college campuses all over the place, and I. I didn't really plan on promoting my other business, but ComputerComforts.com. Check it out. <laughs> hey, ComputerComforts.com. What is the uh, the uh, the website for I Am uh, God in Disguise? So are you. Sure. It's Awesome Life. And Awesome is kind of a play on words. There's no E at the end of Awesome. Uh, it's A-W-E-S-O-M, kind of like the OM symbol. In mm-hmm. Sanskrit, uh, awesomelife.com. dot com. Awesome life dot com. Also available on um, Amazon. Absolutely. Good deal. 
Uh, listen, we really enjoyed uh, spending some time with you and uh, uh, wish you a lot of luck with the book. I am God in disguise, so are you. Uh, really talking about the fact that maybe God is within each and every one of us and that we should um, take a look at that. Daryl, thank you very much for uh, today. Pleasure. And uh, look forward to seeing you again next time. Hope so. Yeah, hope so, too. Never know. <laughs> um, and thank you. Uh, thank you again, Craig. And thank you at home for joining us. And as I say every week, have a good week. Have a great week. Most importantly, have a healthy week. We'll see you next time. If you're listening to Late Night Health right now, you're part of the growing target of baby boomers we're serving. Hi, I'm Daryl Wayne, producer of Late Night Health, inviting you to join the Late Night Health family. If you have any business targeting the growing boomer market, Late Night Health is the ideal advertising vehicle for you. From vitamins to insurance, alternative health to Western-style medicine, Late Night Health caters to the growing population of those over 40 years old. This vibrant demographic has expendable income to fight aging, purchase travel, take care of aging, parents or just have fun. Find out about the advertising opportunities with Late Night Health. Call us at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308 or email us at info at latenighthealth.com. That's info at latenighthealth.com. Join Late Night Health as we empower people to take charge of their own health care. Call now at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308.